Everything, everything. I'm having a Monday. Right, okay, hang on. Okay, I'm pretty sure you can hear me now. Let me just see if you can see the desktop. Right, yes, you've got desktop audio. Fabulous. Okay, right, good morning. Let's start that again, shall we? Um, so, uh, yeah, sorry, I just had to pop to the door there. Uh, someone was just uh, ringing the doorbell and uh, just wanted to know if I could pick up a package um, that's due for them, but they're going out, so they won't be around. So, yeah. Um, right, okay, uh, I live in a block of flats, so there are lots of people around. Um, right, so, uh, what's going on this morning? Basically, uh, sorry I'm late, I am half an hour late. Uh, the reason for that is I was off doing some things in the city this morning. Um, then I rushed back, so I, I pretty much rushed back. Uh, I then found that there was a dog here that was looking at me disappointed, uh, wanting to go for a walk. Uh, so we went out to the local park, we ran around the park for a bit. She chased a ball, what's she doing now? So hopefully... I mean, it's a bit of a shorter walk, but she should be tired. Yeah, there she is. You okay, honey? Yes. Dramatic zoom. Yeah, she's fine. Um, so she's good. So she, hopefully she'll just um, have a rest over there. But yeah, no, it's um, it's it's been a good morning so far. It's been busy, but it's pr been productive. Thank you, Benoko. Thank you very much, Benoko. Um, so my trip to um, my trip to the city was um exam related i suppose i'll talk talk more about that later uh, at some point but um yeah it was good um and um yeah so things uh, things over here are, are good really just kind of um hectic um i'm just heating up the coffee machine and then i'm just going to grab a uh what's it, a, a quick espresso but uh, yeah i'm just going to chill out play a bit of rim world and then get on with the editing today on that front on the, on the youtube editing side of things um so it's the second week of work. What is it? It's day four. So it's the start of day four on the second week. And, um, okay, so, hang on a minute. So second, yes, yeah, so it's the fourth. No, it's not. Yes, it's the third. Right, okay, so I, last week I managed to put Armour Bullshittery Part 9 together. So it's at least together on a timeline. Uh, this week I'm starting the text and the animations. So I'm continuing that work. Uh, that will continue this week, next week, the week after that at least. Uh, really, so I don't really have any sort of amazing updates beyond the work continues, and um, yeah, so that's that's what's going on. Animations, yes, indeed, Realma. So like the text, you know, the text following characters and things popping up on the screen and all the rest of it, really. Um, yeah. So oh, oh my god, it's crashed again. Oh my god, has it cracked? Can you hear me? The whole thing's frozen. You can hear me, but my OBS is frozen. All the dials are frozen. You can hear me, right? Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna continue then. I'm just gonna, hang on. What happens if I just move it? Uh, okay, hang on. can I even change? Can I change the scene? I can change the scene with the hotkey. Okay, so I'm, I'm just gonna, right? I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna touch it. Okay, if I touch it, but you, you can hear me. Yeah. Okay, tell me if you can't hear me. I'm moving the screen. Can you see me move the screen? Okay, so let me know if later on it falls over, because right now I can't tell. Right, um, so anyway, so this is Tundra Fall. Um, so for those not familiar, uh, Tundra Fall is my RimWorld Arctic playthrough. Uh, so we, oh yes, we killed a bunch of elks recently, didn't we? Woo. Okay, hang on, so a bunch of dead elks. Thank you, uh, Mal Malkane. Thank you very much, Malkane. Um, I can't really remember much beyond that, what we were last doing. Um, the colony consists of about 13 colonists, who are, if I bring up the world map, Okay, so are uh, stuck on the Choga Sheet, which is the Arctic Sheet up here. We do have a couple of smaller bases to the south, but they're mainly like summer, summer um, like farming installations. But we haven't gone there this year because we're low on fuel. Oh, major break risk. It's bitter, Ritter. Mm. Okay, uh, so uh, for those not familiar with RimWorld, basically we are trying our best to survive in difficult conditions. It's minus 
18 degrees outside, 18 degrees on the ice sheet. It's the 4th of autumn, so the temperatures are going to get lower, about minus 60, in fact. Um, so minus 18 is fairly warm. Um, thank you, Snake the Apache. Thank you, Snake. And right now we are, yeah, we're basically um, just trying to prepare for the winter, I guess. How are we doing in terms of food? Lots of food. We've yeah, got lots of dead elks from a recent migration. So we'll have those turned into, yeah, into proper meals and have them stored away. Hydroponics looks good. Medicine looks good. Artillery shells are great. Yeah, it's good. We're looking we're looking like we're surviving at the minute. Thank you, Honey Badger. Thank you. Right, so in which case, I guess I will try to expand the left side, the B-wing, effectively, of the base. With storerooms, bedrooms, that sort of thing. Uh, we have a secondary geothermal... Well, we have two secondary geothermal power systems here and here. Which will be leaking out warmth into the colony. So I should take advantage of that for the winter. Thank you, Toxit. Thank you very much, Toxit. Thank you. What's that green rogue? You started Rimworld last week, and your fifth colony is finally surviving. <laughs> is there a way to get new colonists faster? Nope. It's it's luck of the draw, really. Well, you can sort of try and recruit people and up an individual's social abilities so they can try to tempt people to join the colony, but you can't get them spawning any faster. Thank you, Yogi. Thank you very much, Yogi. Right. Oh, yeah, alternatively, sorry. Now, Uncle Terry points out that maybe be able to, you might be able to kidnap people from nearby bases if you attack them. Hmm. Okay, I'll go through the uh, introductions um, super quickly then. So we have Holy Neville joining... Oh yeah, so a new arrival to the colony. Uh, so he is a, a slothful psychopath and a former crime lord. Um, pretty good fighter, that's all really Neville's good for. Um, surprisingly good social abilities, considering it's Neville. But uh, yeah, a recent joiner in power armour. Neville, like Porter, will assist in the defence of the base, really. Thank you, Savage. Thank you. We have Bweep. Bweep is a 26-year-old actor. Uh, if I remember correctly, he's quite depressive. Um, he's also good at crafting. We're training Bweep to work on crafting. I think, what was it, smelting? I think. But uh, Bweep is currently assisting. Yeah, 26-year-old 26, 26 actor Bweep is assisting with the manual labour. We have Poppycock. She is a 22-year-old uh, former cave tender, so a former tribal. Uh, she is now our primary doctor of the colony. She also has a problem with a bit of bloodlust in which um, violence excites her and arouses her. So, you know... Not necessarily the best trait to have as a doctor, but nevertheless, stalwart in a good battle. So, good to have her around. Although, truth be told, I want to keep her out of the main fight, because she is, after all, the doctor. Bitter Ritter is a 27-year-old uh, rocket scientist. She handles much, much of our building. She's now a close friend with Little Miss Hixie, who is a 19-year-old refugee. Uh, Little Miss Hixie handles the crafting, and she's pretty good at it, and Bitter Ritter handles the building. They're both new arrivals. They both get along quite well, and they yeah, quite, uh, hang on. Kaz is, Kaz is on a mental break. God damn it. Um, but yes, Bitter Ritter and Little Miss Hixie working together as builders and crafters. Dragonite over here is still bugged out. She's 37 years old. She was one of the original three. She's supposed to be working the hydroponics bay, but her character's bugs, so at the minute, she doesn't really do anything. Vassal over here is a 31-year-old psychopath who makes most of our equipment. Vassal shouldn't be doing that. Vassal should be making trousers. Why is Vassal not making trousers? I'll figure that out in a bit. But Vassal is uh, responsible for the creation of most of our weapons and equipment. Okay. Major brain damage is an 18-year-old scared child, as in he's quite literally a frightened child. He landed when he was 16. He's now 18, so he's now a scared adult, I guess, but he doesn't yet have a, an adult role. Um, he is a pretty good cook, but to be honest, he ha he handles the janitor work in the colony because we already have we already have a decent cook. Mio is the 20-year-old uh, feisty brawler miner. She used to start fights with everybody in the colony, and she would end them as well because she's a very capable melee f melee fighter. However. She got into a brawl in the hallway, and in that brawl, lost both of her eyes. She's blind. So poor old Mio, at the age of 20, went from our, one of our principal fighters to a worker. We took her armor off, and she just fumbles her way around the colony. Around the colony, as best she can. But Mio is blind. She can't see anything. Blinded at the age of 19. We have Porter, the 42-year-old uh, psychopath. He was a former bodyguard, uh, so he really just doesn't have any major skills insofar as, um, you know, crafting or anything is concerned. But he's a good fighter, and he maintains a pretty good friendship with Kaz. The two of them are, um, yeah, very, very get-stuff-done sort of colonists, Porter and Kaz. 
Shindahunt is a 31-year-old Navy scientist. She hates everybody. She's very intelligent, but generally likes to keep to herself. Um, I put her in the room next to Jen and Bweep. Oh, yes, Jen and Bweep are now fucking. Just an FYI. So, I guess Shindahunt can hear everything through the grate. <laughs> also, they're cold. It's minus one. I guess this heater is not good enough. I suppose it is minus 34 outside and they have a single wall. We need to double wall that. We can't double wall it. Okay. Let's just uh, increase the amount of heating that we have then. Hmm. Okay. So Shinta Huns uh, doesn't like anybody and she gets to hear them bonk. Hooray. Right. Yellow over here is the 59-year-old husband of uh, Ryoma. He's a bit of a frail old man pootling around the colony. Thank you, Deadlock. Thank you. And he, uh, he, he is our animal handler. Jen is the 25-year-old tribal chef who is quite naive, quite a sweet girl. People like her, and she handles most of our cooking. We have Ryoma. Ryoma is the 52-year-old mathematician and handles quite a lot of our hydroponics, I believe. Is that correct? Yes, our hydroponics base. And uh, as said, she's married to Yellow. And finally, Kaz. Kaz is the de facto leader of the colony at the age of 50. Uh, she is a former soldier, one of the original three, the genetic offspring of Zorium, her mother. It wasn't a natural birth. I'm guessing it was some sort of clone donation or something. Hell, maybe maybe she's Zorium's clone. Um, but regardless, Kaz is a former soldier, former demo, ex demo expert. Speaking of demo, we have a short circuit alert. It's fine. No fire was triggered. Nothing flammable. Um, but that does mean we're on low power. Are we? No, we should be okay. We have sufficient sun. Wait, why do we have sufficient sun? It's three in the morning. Yeah, strange. Um, yes, anyway, so that's Kaz, who is currently moping around the storage room. Right, so we're doing quite well, to be fair. For a, for a tundra biome, for freezing temperatures... I'm just going to pop the music up just a notch. For freezing temperatures, we are doing quite well. Um, right, sorry, would you, would you please excuse me just a moment? Because I would like to just go and get a quick coffee. Hang on a second. Um, just pop the dog back on. Hang on, right. Da, 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 da. Back in, I'm just gonna, because I, I just heated up the coffee machine, I'm just gonna pour it. Right. And the chat is uh, shilling Ubisoft, as expected. Fuck all of you, actually. Yes. So I, I suppose many, many streamer, streamers on Twitch appreciate and thank their audience. But no, fuck you. Fuck all of you. <laughs> um, yes, I come back and all I see is, bye Ubisoft. Bye, fuck you. Um, thank you, Zedman. Thank you very much, Zedman. Right, okay. Um, so, yes, as said, so Tundra Fall is doing quite well. We also have a number of dogs. Um, trouble is, do we have a breeding pet? We do. We have two huskies, Magnolia and Naoki. Is the female pregnant? She is, in the middle stages of pregnancy. Good. So, we would like to get a pack of dogs and then have Yellow train them in order to haul. Um, they can be quite vulnerable to attack, but they can be, yeah, so long as you feed them kibble. How much kibble do we have? We have no kibble. We have lots of elks and potatoes, so let's make some kibble. Uh, let's make sure that they're a proper, yeah, that they're properly, you know, fed. Um, Jen, could you wake up a little bit earlier? 
She's just had sex. Good for you. Could you please wake up and get some kibble for the dogs? Right. Otherwise, the dogs are going to eat the elk and the, the, the humans outside. What's that, Martin? Uh, oh, shit. What was that? Was that an internship, Martin? So after your internship, they didn't offer you a job? Or made up some bullshit reason? Contri Sorry to hear it, Martin. That sucks. Was it an internship? Um, thank you, Ardent Sky. Thank you very much. And Poverstein before that. Sorry, did I miss you, Poverstein? And Deadlock. Thank you, Deadlock. And Savage Sprite. Sorry, am I, am I missing all these? And Yogi. Thank you. That's very kind of you all. Thank you. Why is Yellow making art? What's Ryoma doing? Hang on, Ryoma's supposed to make... I'm confused. Thank you, Gyoto. Thank you very much, Gyoto. So hang on. Ryoma... No, wait, I've deprioritized Ryoma's art. Why, why is she not getting up? Had she had a catatonic breakdown? Huh? Brain. Her brain has been scarred. How does that even happen? What? She's got a brain scar. It's, she's not from the elk. What? From the, from the migration we were just fighting? She's okay, isn't she? So hang on, we, we, we fought a bunch of elk, but none of them got close, did they? Yeah, it's, it's not a physical injury. She's, yeah, she saw something in the elk. Is she okay? It's her withdrawal. I hope so. She can get up, yeah? Did Martin respond? I didn't see Martin. Oh, no, there he is. Part-time job with a four-week trial period. I was getting along very well with your colleagues, but then they said... You're not getting along well enough with your colleagues. Yeah, well. You know. Shit. I guess, I guess. I don't know. It sucks, man. But, you know. Not not wishing to give you, like, a contrived answer. But, there, are, you know, just just keep going. Just keep keep fighting. Plenty more fish, etc. Just keep going for job opportunities. Oh, um. Yes, I did send in. Thank you very much. Um, sorry, I, I did get your message. I do read all the messages, but um, responding to them is very difficult. There's, there's um, there's too many. I'm I'm sorry. I just can't. I can't. I I try. I I try to sit through and get through them all, but then they just take up hours of the day, and it's hours that I could be using editing. Sorry. Um. But yes, I will. I'll, I'll send that YouTuber a message and ask him. Could you please not monetize? The scar probably has a permanent consciousness effect and withdrawal just pushed her over the edge. Yeah. Make sure she's fed. Okay. Um, right, so I was trying to figure out why Yellow was making art. Some cargo pods have been detected falling from orbit. I've assigned him to do the art. Handle the animals and make art. Okay. He's the only one... No, no, Dragon is also assigned, but she's pretty shit. Okay. Fair enough. So long as he handles the animals, I'm cool with it. Thank you, JD. Thank you. Right. Some survival package meals. Interesting. That would be that would be worth retrieving. Poppycock the doctor. No, you cannot haul. Who can haul? Mio, you can haul. You're also blind. <laughs> Don't get lost out in the ice. Right. Hmm. Yes, indeed. YouTube can and does monetize against your will. Um, and the system is fucked. It's really fucked. Thank you, white coloured. Thank you. For example, um, you know recent. Do you remember that? Um, you know that. Uh, fuck, it's Counter Strike bullshittery part something. Do you remember at the end of one of my bullshitteries, I made that uh, that that terrorist react. I took like a segment from um, like a, it was like a rap battle. It was like you know that meme where you got all those guys going oh you know like reacting like over the top, and then I, I animated some terrorists to make them do the same actions. Well, kind of. It wasn't perfect. I thought it was okay. Um, but I did that animation uh, to the same audio. Anyway, so that is seven seconds long. The original video is four minutes and 40 something seconds. And um, I didn't use any of the visuals. I, I used seven seconds of audio. The company that owns the rights to that original rap battle video has tried to claim full copyright access to that seven seconds of footage that I've made off Counter-Strike thing. 
I've obviously pushed back. I've gone, no, this is obviously fair use. It's none of your original visuals. It's a tiny snippet of a bigger piece. It's of, you know, legally, they have no say. They're screwed. Legally, they have no, no leg to stand on. But here's the kicker. The person who now decides whether or not it's fair use or not is the company that made the claim. What do you think they're going to say? What do you think they're going to... You know, if they fill in the claim saying this is this is ours, and then I push back saying no, it's not, they get to be the arbiters of whether or not it is or, or is or not. What do you think they're going to say? Obviously, they're going to go no, it's ours and claim it. And then, if I want to go further, I the onus is on me to then legal up. Well, I suppose it should be, shouldn't it? Because it's it's my it's my copyright I need to defend. But then lawyer up and go after them. And that's a fucking you know. I'm, I'm, I'm too busy. I'm, I'm working on the next video. I don't have time. I'm just one guy. I don't have a company behind me with a legal team to do it. It would have to be on my back and my time and my money. And you know what's going to happen. It's immediately they're just going to fold immediately and just waste everyone's time and my money. But I'd need to. That's not worth it. Lawyers for seven seconds of audio. But yeah. Yeah, I guess puzzle. But I suppose it gets to the... It's kind of like the principle, isn't it? Really. If they, you know, if it did happen. Because, no, fuck them. Why should they stick adverts all over something they don't own? Truth be told, I'll probably just pull down the video. I mean, it's in, you know, it's only the seven second segment. It's already in the other Counter-Strike thing. Thank you, Sleepy Nero. Right. Indeed, Mr. Anderson. <clears throat> So I just sipping coffee. But yeah, it happens all over YouTube. This isn't what I just mentioned isn't something new. Yeah, sorry, what are their names? No, I'm gonna call them out. What are their names? Hang on. So the name of the company that's doing it is Here we go. Uh, it's called Create Music Group Inc. Those are the cunts that are doing it. Fuck you! It's obviously fair use. Very obviously fair use. Thank you, Topo. Thank you very much, Topo. Who's starving? Oh, Kaz is starving. Hang on a second. Bitter Ritter is going through a minor break. Low joy. Why low joy? Also, hang on. I need to focus on a goal. Hang on. So we need to... Good. We've re yeah, we've resealed this section of the base. We need to get all this brickwork in so we can get a geothermal facility up here. <clears throat> right. Right. Hmm. Thank you, Yakuin. <clears throat> oh, interesting. We're seeing... Yeah, so we're seeing the water draining pump. So these things here are moisture pumps. So I'm trying to remove the, the shallow water. I can't get the deep water, but I can get the shallow water. And uh, yeah, I can, I can start hoovering up all of this to make more building room. Okay. Ooh. Of course, Red Buck. Of course, indeed. Yes, indeed. The onus is on me, but it's just—it's just you know what's going to happen. When it happens, it's just—it just wastes my time. Because they're not gonna—they're not gonna defend it, are they? They're gonna be like, "Oh yeah, it's fair use." Lol. Next next video. Because they're too busy just flagging up everything. They're just um, what's the term? Not patent troll. You know—you know how they're just doing it to everybody with any remote connection to the thing. TuneCore do that as well. There's a there's a company called TuneCore on YouTube. They claimed all of armor bullshittery because I featured like 20 seconds of Dance with the Dead, a song called Riot. <laughs> and they've claimed all of the armor bullshittery. And now, because of that, the armor bullshitteries keep appearing in the pop music section of YouTube. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> right. No need, nipples. Um, no need. I'm a, I'm a big boy. I can... If push comes to shove, I can happily shove back legally. legally. Right. Okay, so little Miss Hixie, our uh, refugee, is currently burning up some of the dead bandits. So I told the dogs to bring bring the dead bandits over here. Okay. Yeah, bring them here. We'll put them in the furnace. Oh, we got loads of slate. If we got loads of slate, then why, why are we not building this? Um... Who's my main builder? What's Bitterritter doing? She is. 
but she's moving slowly. Because of the snow? I guess because of the snow. Hi, Missy. Yes, I'm good. Yes, the migraine has worn off. I'm, I'm all good. That was just yesterday. It's all good. Okay. Sorry, what's that sound? Oh, it's the evening. The hydroponic bays are going offline. That's fine. Hang on a second. Do we have enough food for the alpaca? We do. I burn them. Yes, indeed. I did, did, rather than take up land space, Mr. Anderson. Do I feed the dog? Yes, indeed. We put some kibble there. Oh, okay. Oh, that's just elk hide. I thought it was kibble. What's Jen doing? She's off to cook more. Wow, okay. <laughs> oh, um, maybe disallow access to the elk now. Um, do we have more elk coming? We want to get those... Yeah, it'd be nice to get them in cover. Hang on. So they don't degrade. Uh, so let me just go normal priority and then say corpses animal corpses and then we'll just pull those in just get these uh these dead elk from the from the migrating herd undercover so the snow does not cause them to degrade and disappear kaz has finally finished the yeah so kaz has finished wandering around in a mental break and is now lying in the rec room little miss hixie's playing chess with herself okay Kaz, once you've rested a little bit, you can get up, get some food, and go to bed proper. Okay, there we go. Might help to set a clear snow path, indeed. Oh yes, I see what you're saying. Yes, you're probably right. Actually, that would be a good use of time. Um, let's, in fact, putting down a, a proper floor so they can move quickly would be a good use of time. How much steel do we have? Um, we have. Which one is it? There it is. Oh, we've got a bunch of steel. Okay, hang on. Um, let's put down. I don't know why concrete needs steel, but mm -mm. let's put down a steel pathway, a concrete pathway, just to speed up that movement. Like, yeah, you're right, because this is a bit of a well-traveled bit, isn't it? Yeah. And then we'll also add that to the... Also, is that, that's a slow... Yeah, so let's also replace these with auto doors. Yeah. So auto doors require components along with the slate blocks, but they, they open much, much faster. Okay. Is there a way to stop team killing? Your guys keep shooting each other in stupid ways. You're asking me, Mr. Anderson? He who constantly team kills? And is part of a clan of team killers? It's like asking an alcoholic the best way to <laughs> the best way to quit. <clears throat> right. How do you direct the raiders towards the defense line? Well, they just kind of come by themselves, really. This is the base. This is the opening to the base. So they just kind of make their way here. Sometimes they come this way, so I put the turrets here. Although we put more turrets up here because they kept having a habit of just going Bleh! and just breaching the door, <laughs> uh, breaching the wall here. Especially here, they kept cutting their way through here. That was annoying. Thank you, Aragoa. Thank you very much. Okay, so, yep, Neville is pulling in some elk into that storeroom. Okay, it's now 11 in the evening. Everybody's winding down for bed. We've got loads of elk. Okay, has Kaz woken up? Yep, Kaz has gone to bed. Okay. The more I say Mr. Anderson, the more you shiver, says Chicken Flop. What? <laughs> Quitting alcohol is the easiest thing in the world, says Izatar. I've done it a thousand times. Right. <laughs> da, 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 da. Three major break risks. Kaz, Bitterita, and Neville. Why is Neville going to break? In pain. Why are you in pain? Oh, you got a burn scar to the brain? Oh, yes. We did do that, didn't we? Whoops. Really? He's got like a permanent permanent pain debuff because we, we used an ancient artifact on him called like a psychic shock lance which stunts he never was a bandit who was here and we shocked him in the brain and he collapsed uh, and there was a small chance of brain damage uh, <laughs> whoops um, so now he's in a minus 10 minus 10 debuff Ugh, when will it end in a moderate amount of pain um, afraid to admit it probably won't I wonder if we have a pain stopper a pain stopper chip would be expensive um, also, we have an excellent charge rifle that was manufactured. 
And let's get that in somebody's hands. A charge rifle is like a plasma... Well, it's, um, it's a plasma rifle. Its range is somewhat reduced compared to something like the sniper rifle. But yeah, its, it's, it's damage output is fairly, fairly good. I believe it's the best. Vers range versus damage output, it's the best. As in rate of fire versus everything. Right, so Kaz has got a normal charge rifle. Uh, Jen has a sniper rifle. Uh, who are my warriors? Yellow's pretty good at shooting. Uh, Porter, a good machine gun. I'll leave that with Porter. What's Vassal got? That's sword, yep. Charge rifle, excellent. Oh, hang on. Neville doesn't have a... But hang on, he's a pretty good melee fighter. Should we... Meh. Well, no, he's got a burning desire to be a melee... Yeah, to learn how to melee fight. So we'll give Neville this sword when he wakes up. And we'll give Kaz the decent charge rifle. And we'll give Yellow the, the one that Kaz has. The normal one. So wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. The colony wakes up. It's the 6th of autumn. The dogs are getting food. It's 6 in the morning. Some people are already off to work... Yeah, Vassal's already working on components. When am I going to upload again? So the latest video typical is on its second week, and it just continues. It takes about three to four weeks to do a 10-minute video. This one, I believe, is around 15 to 16 minutes, so it's going to take a little bit longer. Oh, yeah, I, I, I don't know, Scarthy. I, I thought it worked, but then I guess it didn't. Hang on a minute. Can I test it? So, sorry, I, I, I made a new notification, right? But then... Hang on. So where's like the? Thank you, uh, Ma Maragon. Sorry, Ma Margie on Twitch. Thank you, Margie on Twitch. So, <clears throat> so hang on. I made a notification, and it was supposed to be for um, for like uh, Patreon um stuff, but then it just never worked. I wonder why. Dashboard. So I'm just on the thing. Hang on. The um. So where can I? Is it? Wi yeah, alert box. Okay. So, what happens if I do... Where's the button? Uh, 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 uh. Sorry, uh, uh, I apologise if this makes a loud noise. Oh no, what does that say? So that, uh, so hang on, that's a test. So that's, that's host, right? So this is a sub. Okay. Yeah, so this, so, ah, uh, I guess it's not here, unless, is this it here? There it is. Ah, uh, the audio is not quite synced. Yeah, and it's too short, damn. Okay, so I need to fix that. But yeah, it was supposed to be... It was supposed to be Cyanide comes out and scares... So he's got like an alien placard and he scares me. Nah, it needs some work. But so why is it not playing? I mean... Oh, okay. I'll figure that out, I'll figure that out later. But, um... Yeah. Weird. Oh, well. But yeah, as you can see, it's supposed to be alien isolation background and then Cyanide comes out of nowhere with a Pringles tube. Um, yeah. So that one's supposed to be for when people pledge on Patreon. But I guess it just never worked. Hmm. Right. Where do I get the material for the walls, Moon Moon? So it's made out of slate. There's actually quite a lot of slate around. Um, so there was this, this this great big... Well, that's limestone. There was slate here, slate here. Um, big thing there. We, we actually started building into a slate rock here. Um, and there are also lots of bits and pieces just lying around. So there's, there's plenty of material around, even though it's a tundra. I mean, lots of it has been falling from the sky. Okay. No, it's not that, Scarthy. I mean, it's been there for quite a while. I guess it's just broken. Mm. Okay. Okay. Oh, I don't know, Zaya. Is that how it works, you reckon? Oh, maybe I've misunderstood. Okay, I'll look into that later. No, t no time right now. Hi there, mad dog. Anyway, right. So, it, yeah, people have got their food. Um, let me just do that thing that I mentioned. So, Kaz, can you go and grab that excellent charge rifle? So there's Kaz. Okay. So this is an excellent high quality charge rifle, leaving behind a normal one of, of about 54. Yellow, if you grab that, grab the hand-me-down. Right, good. So my people are quite well armed. 
it's an adventure game, Heinrich. Um, it's like an adventure game where lots of random events can happen, and you've got lots of intercolonist drama. Um, it's, all, it's, it's, it's about drama, really. It's not like a builder game or a survivor game. A survival game. It's about, well, an adventure. It's like, it's like, well, it's Dwarf Fortress, but it's also like an adult version of The Sims, where instead of like growing up and, and, and sorry, you know, getting a promotion at your at your workplace, it's not dying of a pancreas infection. That's that's your reward. <laughs> right. Okay then. Um. So we do need to get this sealed. Well, it is sealed. Okay, it's sealed. So we just need to get the damn door in. So where's Bitter? Bitter's eating. Bitter, finish your food. Right, she's finished her food. Now go and work on that auto door. Once we've got this sealed, we can start building the hydroponics bays here. We also need to get the wiring in. God, there's so much work to do over here. Okay. Where am I storing the steel right now? Slate blocks are there. Alright, hang on. Let, let me just, um... Let's put like a stockpile zone over here. I mean, the dogs and shit can help. Copy settings. Paste. Cancel this stockpile. Let's get... We need the bricks over here. So get the bricks over here along with raw, re yeah, raw resources steel. Right. So now we should at least build up steel and slate blocks over here for my people to, well, do stuff with. Okay, Shinderhans, the Navy scientist, is working on this auto door. Oh, yes, I was also supposed to, supposed to put an auto door there. Hmm. A new new descent, Seamuff and Maximo. Uh, we've lost, um, who have we lost? So we've lost Rape, so Dr. Milf, Seamuff. We lost, um... Uh, okay, no time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, it's fine. It's, <laughs> it's a, I thought it was a tundra fall. It's a raid over at Morningwood, which is the, um, the name of our farming thing that we couldn't occupy this, uh, this, uh, year. Someone called Stoll, the Illuminator. Wait, no, a Tunnel World Illuminator. What does that mean? Among tunnel dwellers, those with vision as strong as stalls are revered as sages. They would lead the way, making spots to dig with bioluminescent fungus and warning others of impending danger. Oh. Okay. So yeah, so uh, that's over at Morningwood, so they're just going to smash up some shit, go home, call it a day. Maybe get attacked by a wolf, that would make me laugh. <laughs> oh. Running low on vegetation out here. Big fire, maybe? strange anyway leave her be okay right so what are people doing so Kaz is uh, cutting some stone blocks that's fine Ryoma is still passed out this could be a huge problem I do have cryo uh, cryo sleep caskets behind the research table so worst comes to the worst we can put Ryoma in, into a, a frozen state until I don't know. Can we can we do something to a brain scar? Efficiency forty percent, forty percent brain efficiency. Yikes! Don't forget the sword. Thank you. I did forget the sword. Uh, cool. Hmm. Okay. Wait, why are we storing storing potatoes in this storeroom? I suppose it's an overflow. The kitchen's full. Wow, the kitchen is full. We're doing very well. We're doing, yeah, we are doing well. Let's get some. Come on, if we're doing so well, let's get some of this food turned into fine meals then. Yep. Make some fine meals, please, Jen. So simple meals are all well and good, but people want to eat fine meals. Does she have to go all the way to get potato? Oh, bitter Ritter has reached the biological age of 28. Unfortunately, bitter Ritter has gained the following diseases due to aging. Artery blockage. Fuck. At the age of 28? Yeesh. Extreme break risk. Bitter Ritter. Why are you so miserable all the time? Urgently hungry. Totally joy deprived. De deprived. But. Bitter Ritter. I don't know. Go, go relax, Bitter Ritter. Consuming elk meat. Why? Go. What's the matter with you? Hang on. You don't have like a, a like a depressive. Are you depressive? Oh, she's neurotic. Ugh. She's she's kind, but she's neurotic, which means she breaks easily. So she now has an extreme break risk. Okay, so I'm going to change her work roster to that of Shinderhans, who's also a little f snowflake. Thank you, uh, One Rish J. Thank you, One Rish. Thank you. Very kind. Uh, bitter, bitter. There we go. 
So Bitter Richard's roster has been modified to add some joy hours um, on this, at the start, and the yeah, basically forced joy. You will have fun. Yes. How's the how's the raid at Morningwood? Well done, well done. She's kicked a wall. She's now wandering around thinking about her life choices. Uh, no, I didn't know that, Martin. Sounds fun though. Ooh. Although you might lose track of it, surely. What are they doing? They're hauling in stone. Yeah, so slate blocks. Nice. Also, are we running out of steel? Fire? Oh, it's fine. We're running out of steel. Does Jen have to go all the way over here to get potatoes every single time? A stack of five potatoes. She does. Shit. Okay. Um, let's put down a single stockpile zone. Priority critical and add raw food, vegetables, potatoes. So somebody will bring a stack of potatoes. Neville, what are you doing? Neville, could you go bring a stack of potatoes over just to save Jen from having to move the entire bloody way? The raider is bleeding. You're kidding. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I was right. The wolf atta attacked her. They fought. I didn't notice. So she's going to die in, in 16 hours. She dies of blood loss without medical attention. And she won't get that medical attention. Oh, my God. She's going to die. The wolf was hungry. The wolf's going to die in 10 hours. Well done, wolf. <laughs> okay. Dies in 15 hours, so at current blood loss rate. Yeah, just gonna set some fires. It's fine. Send someone to Morningwood, get the radar harvest. Well, uh, the trouble is there's, there's no getting back. Not without an investment of steel and components and shit. Building a drop pod launcher thing. Oh, she's passed out! Oh my god! She's passed out from blood loss. Right next to where she set the fire. Whoops. Is she gonna is she gonna be incinerated or will the rain save her? <laughs> oh, the rain might save her. I got no, I don't know. Idiot. Thank you, Aldous McDonald. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you very much. What? Are you quoting, like, you quoting pregnancy uh, status after two months? Thank you, Aldous. Thank you. Okay, you might die a bit faster now because, you know, you're immolating yourself. Stop immolating yourself. <laughs> Local caribou has gone mad. God, it's a madhouse over at Morningwood. It is a madhouse. She did. Oh, damn. The alpaca has miscarried. Due to starvation, is there just not enough food? Hmm. I was hoping there'd be enough. Guess there's not. Why are we happy, happy about something burnt? Because she's a raider and she started it. And now she has to live with the consequences of her life choices. Well, not live, but you know. The well, truth be told, I suppose it is sad. I mean, you know. None of, none of the people who boarded the colony sh a ship expected to arrive in, like, Mad Max or whatever. Post-apocalyptic hell. <clears throat> right, okay. do 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 Yes, Taniwa, uh, T Taniwa. And I expect if, you know, I ended up in this situation, I would set a fire and then probably burn myself on it. Animal starvation. The alpaca. Mm. Why? There's loads of food, isn't there? Um. Yeah. Let's, um. We don't really need that. Uh, we don't really need that many alpaca, though. Maybe we should sell some. Also, why is the cat there? Did I restrict the cat accidentally? Pickles. I did. No, I didn't. She just... Pickles are just sleeping there. Pickles, the cat, has been here with us for a, a while. 
destroyed tail. Hmm. Okay, right, so it's the next day, so it's six in the morning, so people are waking up to get breakfast. Uh, no, they're not, because we don't... Yeah, okay, because Jen had to travel so far, we don't have any prepared breakfast, so people are having to eat nutrient paste from elk meat. So the elk meat goes in the hopper, it goes through here, it is... Proce it, yeah, it gets the shit processed out of it to make a sort of gruel, which is pretty disgusting, but you won't get food poisoning from it. It's good to feed prisoners on, really. Or when the food situation is pretty dire. Um, Jen, yeah, could you... Wait, you're consuming a fine meal? Where'd you get the fine meal from? Are you hoarding food? A local snow hare has gone mad. Oh no. Fear the snow hare, everybody. It, for it has gone mad and it will surely it will surely kill everyone fear the snow hare you have a cat called pickles as well says carrot Ooh. come on how many fucking hell Guys, really? Jesus Christ, we need to upgrade the turret software. There we go. <sighs> Alright, cool. Um, yeah, people are off, off and doing stuff. So, yeah, Ryoma's still unconscious. That sucks. Was, was, I mean, maybe if she gets over her psychite withdrawal, maybe she'll be okay? Yeah, she's, she's got a brain injury. You don't understand the game, Jamie. That's all right. It's a, quite a complicated one. Right now, we're just trying to... Well, we're doing well, actually. We're thriving. Tundra Fall is now thriving. Um, yeah. Very good indeed. Everything's good. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. We'll, we'll get the slate wall finished here. Who's the leader of the colony? Kaz is at the moment. Kaz, the 50-year-old former soldier. Um, could we also just pop the drill on over here? So it's now the 7th of autumn, so it's going to get colder soon, but we should be okay. It would be nice to get this secondary wing operational. And perhaps link this... Well, might be hard to link that up, really. I don't know. We should make... No, we can't do that. Uh, maybe. Like we, we could double wall this and put a corridor or something, so we people can move from... In an emergency, we can move around the edge of the base undercover. You know, like if there's an animal... Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Actually, sorry, just thinking about that. So let's do this. So I'm going to put this here. Right? So, just go with me here. What we'll do... We'll just put, like, auto doors here. It's not... It's, it's, it's pretty inelegant, but fuck you. Right? And then we'll just put, like, a auto... Do and then, yeah, we can have people... In the event of, like, a... Ooh! Ah! You know, in the, in the event of, like, a siege or something, we can move people around while still being sealed within the base effectively right okay a refugee chased at tundra fall a ranch owner named devlin calls me from nearby she is being chased by pirates from the gladius so the pirates are the guys with the real guns the mini guns the assault rifles and stuff um she begs for safety and offers to jo offers to join the colony she's 51 years old be warned if i accept i'll have to fight off the pirates on her tail now the colony is well armed people are well fed we are prepared should we try and save devlin what does, what does the chat think? Wait, sorry, her name is Richard, and it's a chick. Right. Should we save Devlin, the 51-year-old rancher? So, presumably, the, the, her pod has crashed somewhere on the ice. Okay, looking at the chat. Some people say no. Lots of people say yes. Lots and lots and lots of people say yes. Okay, we will try to save Devlin. So here we go. So I'm going to offer safety. Devlin, so for those unfamiliar, Devlin runs into the base. Shortly afterwards, she'll be followed by pirates who are well armed. We need to get ready, defend. So let's see which angle she comes in from because this determines where she's, well, where the attack comes from. Right, so it's from here. That's good, actually. So sufficient distance. Oh, okay, so 51 year old. Uh... <laughs> she's really bad. She's both neurotic and a slowpoke. And incapable of dumb labour. <laughs> oh, man. You're a rancher handler who can't do dumb labour. Great. 
Okay. Well, good with animals, but we don't need anybody good with animals. Oh, you're rubbish! You are a rubbish colonist! Alright, never mind. Um, okay, get in as quick as you can. Everyone else, get to the defences. Um, head over to B-Wing, because there should be a gun in there for you. Um, let's take that charge rifle. Okay, right. So, action stations. Action stations. We set condition one throughout the ship. So, Kaz, move to the defences. Okay, Ryoma's out, unfortunately. Jen, get your sniper rifle and move to the defences. Yellow, you're in B-Wing already. Start moving over. Shinderhans, get your minigun and move here. Porter, get your machine gun, move here. Mio, who is blind, so you're no longer a fighter. You can, however, operate the mortar, can't you? <laughs> we have a blind woman operating the mortar. That can only go well. Major brain damage, you're a janitor, stay out of this. Vassal, grab your sword, move to the defences. Dragoner, grab your gun, move to the defences. Little Miss Hixie, you're in B-Wing. Could you move over to the rec room in A-Wing and wait for further orders? Bitter Ritter, you're also a non-combatant. Move to the rec room and wait for further further orders. Poppycock, you're also a combatant. Get your sniper rifle and move here. Bweep, you got your minigun out by B-Wing. Again, get to the defences. Although you lack armour, sir. Thank you, Marsh Malone. Thank you, Marsh Malone. Thank you. You do lack armour. Where's your armour? You're not wearing any armour. Okay, I might consider leaving you inside. Don't want to get you shot, weep. Right, Neville, grab your sword and move here. In fact, Neville, before you do anything, can you fire a shell from the mortar? And Devlin, get inside. Right, very good. So full alert, everybody, let's go. Let's get the turret defences activated. Let's check our power reserves. Power reserves are good. Activate the southern turrets at the same time, please. In fact, can we have somebody who is going to the rec room? So, right, Major, could you move down? Don't activate the, um, the turret yet. Thank you, Changes. Thank you very much, Changes. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All ass people. We've got a few seconds before the Raiders get here, and they could be a pretty... Could, could be really well armed. We'll see. Okay. Right. So, Neville. Uh, let me just check and see. Right, so high explosive. We've got low... Yep, yeah, they're both loaded, loaded with high explosives. Loaded. Yep, fully loaded and ready to fire. Very good. Right, major brain damage. You wait on the switch, please. I'm going to seal the door for the minute. You stay. Right, people who are going to the rec room, wait. Right, is B-Wing evacuated? B-Wing is evacuated. Right, let's get the dogs to safety. Um, dogs, I'd like you to report to the alpaca area. And wait. Get there as fast as you can, please. Right, the attack is imminent. Stand by. Neville, you want it? Man it. Where's, who's the other guy? Mio. Here she comes. Here we go. The attack is imminent. Stand by. Is everyone inside? Who needs to be inside? Okay. You are both free to proceed. Seal the main door. You two are free to move. Here we go. Raid been detected. They are attacking immediately. It's not too bad. Lots of melee though. Lots of melee. Okay. Interesting. So the fact... So, ooh, are they all melee? Is, that, is this an all melee raid? It might be an all melee raid. Okay, interesting. So... They have energy shields, so they're just going to try and bum rush our defences. Which is pretty bad for them, because our defences consist of turrets. And I think a lot of them explode, because they're still steel turrets. Um, how good are their shields? Poor, normal, normal. Right, so th this is not anything to sneeze at, to be fair, because they will get to our defences. Definitely move quick. Um, right. We will handle it, but some of us might take a stab in. Okay, yellow, move here. Dragoner, move here. Kaz, move here. Jen, here. Poppycock, there. Shinterhands, move to the front with your minigun. You too, Porter. Vassal, get your sword and move here. I need Neville. Neville, you're a swordsman. I need you on this. Move over here. Um, right, Mio, I want you to pop that HE grenade out. Do we have EMP shells? Do we have any remaining? In any stash anywhere? Fuck. I don't think we do. Never mind, just go with high explosive then. Thank you, Trion. Thank you very much. And Fowler. Thank you, Fowler. Stand by. Target the lead element. Here we go. Let's get these turrets enabled. Hit it. Turret enabled. Watch where you're firing, you two. You're going to be firing over... Hang on. Poppycock, can you hit that one? Shot away. Okay, th yeah, there are no EMP, no EMP whatsoever. 
Right, um, that's going to be it, please, Mio. You're done. No more HE shells. They're going to be too close to the base. Okay, move back, Poppycock. There we go. That's, yep, you're done too, Neville. Move to the front and get ready to assist in the defense. Shot away. Good hit! We got a kill! Ma uh, Manabu, the barkeep, has been killed. And uh, it seems that Martin, the 41-year-old, has been mortally wounded. Very good. Okay, stand by. Turrets are ready. Positioning's not great, to be fair. Could be much better. Let's move. Yeah, let's... Very good. Devlin, get in as quick as you can. Oh, Heffy, get in, please. Okay, Neville is ready to head to the airlock. Step through, please, Neville. Seal it behind you. Damn, one of our dogs is sealed outside then. That's the problem. All right, battle commences. Again, they should... They, they probably will reach our lines. So we need to get our melee in position. Neville and Vassal will rush them with swords. Open fire. Fire, fire, fire. Come on. Here we go. So that's the first ping off the shield. Here we go. Right, just to double check, because I might have ordered some of them to hold fire. Mio, why are you outside? There's a side door. I forgot about the side door. Whoops. Get back inside. I totally forgot that there was a side door. There we go. Right, the first shield has been breached. Should be alright. Okay, first one's down. Okay, he's going to be a problem. Holy Neville, move. Yellow, fall back. Neville, go for him. He's down. Well done. Neville, just move to that position and wait for further orders. Yellow, move there. Yeah, it's going very well. We got this. Yeah, they haven't come in. What They haven't rushed us in one big group. Devlin, position yourself there with the charged rifle. It's almost over. Next shield is gone. Very good. Neville, you might need to get swinging. Yeah, well done. Yeah, we handled that well. Cool. Stand down. Okay, only one survivor, I believe. No, not anymore. Well done, Tundrafall. Stand down. Very good. Combat is over. Yep. So, an, an all-melee raid can be very dangerous if you do not prepare properly. So we did. We had lots of defences in play, lots of sandbag bunkers. We had defence in depth, basically. So if we lost one thing, we could just move, you know, just move back. As you can see, we could just move to different positions. Uh, we got lots of deep snow, which slowed them down. And just overwhelming firepower sealed the, sealed the day there. It won the day. Very good. Stand down. Switch off the turrets to preserve power. Major brain damage. Sorry about that. I left you sealed in there because I wanted to possibly turn those on. You're free to go. Is anybody on alert? No, everybody's okay. Very good. Okay. Now, as for no wounds, no no injuries were sustained. We are a okay. One, well done, Tundrafall. Let's have a look and see if there's anybody wounded who's worth saving. Uh, this person here, Vlad, is a pyromaniac. <laughs> uh, anyone else? Uh, Vlad? No, sorry, not Vlad. Hunt. Who's Vlad then? Who did I click? Who the hell's Vlad? Oh no, sorry, his first name is Vlad. No, no, that guy there. Um. Well, I mean, he's got three hours till he dies. I mean, uh, he's just a kid. Nah, he's just, just a damn kid. Fucking stupid idiot kid. He didn't know what he was doing. Um, can we patch him up and send him on his way? Hang on. Uh, Neville, can you shack up with uh, Bitter Ritter for now? No touching her in her sleep. Thank you. Uh, thank you, I am Norza. Thank you very much, I am Norza. Um, see if we can yellow. Yeah, haul him in. See what you can do. Hang on, no, 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 not yellow. Yellow's too slow, he's frail. Chindens, you do it. Uh, okay, where's uh, Poppycock, the doctor? She's currently researching. Could you go over here and try and patch, her up, patch him up? Unlock the door. I did, didn't I? Yeah, doors are unlocked. Be good. Oh, the animals. Must not forget the animals. Uh, right, the wolves, the alpaca. There we go. Can I explain the basics of the game? Uh, well, yeah, you, you've got to kind of 
marshal your resources. You can't order them directly unless unless you sort of recruit them into into a combat state. They go about doing orders as as you specify on a work roster. So like cleaning, cooking, that sort of thing. But the idea in, to the game is you try to survive as long as you can on this rim world on the edge of the galactic. But you know it, it's a we, you've crash landed on this hostile world where everything, including the wildlife, wants to kill you. Okay, do you have time to run to... The, yeah, she's got enough time, just enough time, to get to the med bay to retrieve. We've got loads of good meds, so retrieve some good meds. Major is still... Is he? Oh, sorry, Major. My bad, sorry, I didn't notice. Thank you. We are still... We don't have any potatoes in here, which means we're struggling to make fine meals for food. Who's that? Holy Neville, why have you passed out? Oh, he's stoned. <sighs> Holy Neville is stoned in the dining room. Great. He's sitting next to Jane going, Son of a bitch. I kill you. Right. Um, okay, never mind what I said about the fine meals. Just make some simple meals. If it's going to take forever to get the damn... Hang on. Make some simple meals. It, it, we only need the meat. Where are you going? Can you not make simple meals out of elk meat? Is that the problem? Oh, you're not allowed to use meat at all. Ah. Well, that would be why there's a stockpile. I suck. There we go. Thank you, Mason. Thank you. Right, okay, this hunt guy. Oh, Shinhens is off to pig out on food. That's nice. Uh, also, why are you putting the... I'm making many errors, it seems. What's the problem here? Potatoes. Rice. I see. Food. Meals. Okay, hang on. Right, so this goes... These are fine meals. These are simple meals. These are, these cabinets are supposed to be where she's supposed to put the meals so people can just don't have to go in the freezer every time they want food. Thank you, Wumsy. Thank you very much, Wumsy. Right, how's our prisoner? Fire. Oh, it's fine. He'll survive, it seems. When he can walk again, we'll send him on his way. So what's the time? It's currently half past midday. So I've got about another half hour in me, and then I'm going to bugger off and get on with my job today. Okay. Things are good here at uh, Tundrafall. Mm. No, Jen, what are you doing? Jen, low priority... It's normal priority, Jen. Actually, important. Preferred, even. Hang on. We need we need food. Stop. We need, you know, people need to go get their food and get on with their day. This is your job, Jen. Come on. There you go. Yeah, just stockpile all the simple meals there. People will come. They'll grab food. Rather than go all the way around into the freezer. Okay. Yeah, they're dead elks. We, we had a migration. Okay. It'll be alright. In theory. Uh, in terms of prisoner, uh, just have friendly chats with him, but we'll, re we'll release him when he can walk. What's my job? I'm a YouTuber, Mr. Jace. Which is incredibly embarrassing to say out loud, to be honest. But I, I edit during the daylight hours, which is what I need to do in about, in about half an hour. And then when I'm finished editing, everybody yells at me for not uploading on YouTube, which is a little bit annoying. Oh yes, name the new guy. Okay, so this individual here, uh, so we have uh, somebody, so we have an animal handler who can shoot a, a neurotic slowpoke at the age of 51. Um, so, let's go with... Right, so uh, let's go with a let's go with a, a Twitch sub this time because uh, Neville was a patron. Thank you, Just Oak Oak P and Sunny Droid. Thank you. Right, so uh, mods uh, Novi, could you please put it into sub only mode? Um, right. Where's this Notepad? I am going to pick four names. All you have to do is raise your hand if you'd like to volunteer. Four names, and then I'll just flip a coin a couple of times just to make it fair. Right. Thank you, Miss uh, Miss Innes, for the compliments. You're very welcome. I shall endeavour to provide more. Right, okay, so just volunteer if you'd like to join the colony. 
Uh, I apologise, I realise that most people will be disappointed because there's only one spot. And there's 2,618 people in here. Thank you, Sightless. Thank you. Right, okay, so I'm just gonna... Uh, don't, like, bounce up and down twice. I'm just gonna go up the list. So I will see people. Okay. Couple more seconds and then I'll go up the list. Alright, Kurt. Okay, just going up the list. Uh, let's go with. Uh, how do you spell that? One. Two. Uh, thank you, Half Blood Hitman. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, let's go with you. And lastly, let's go with you. Split into four. Okay, this patch will be heads. This patch will be tails. Tails. Okay, so it's either one of these two. This one will be tails. This one will be heads. It's tails. So it's Kurti Ooh. Kurtio. Have a I can't read my own damn writing. K I R T I O W, I think. Hang on. Oh. Do, 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 do. K. Wait. Yeah. Curtio? Is Curtio in the chat? Do we have a Curtio here? Curtio, the 51 year old and uh, ranch owner. Did I get that right? Uh. Curtio here. Da, 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 da. I have a feeling I've spelled it wrong. Is he here? There he is. Uh, Curtio. Yeah, I spelled it correctly. Brilliant. Okay. Right. Welcome aboard, Curtio. Uh, your name isn't. It's Curti. Would you like just Curti? Curtio. Would you like that instead? It's up to you. I'm, I'm totally okay. Either or, whichever you prefer. But yes, you are a 51-year-old uh, ranch owner. You are you are a slowpoke and you're very neurotic, which means you do things very slowly, uh, which is annoying. Cool. Curti wants Curti. There we go. Um, right. So Curti um, and, and <laughs> so a slowpoke who is neurotic. So you break at the first sign of trouble. You are good with animals. You have a burning passion for it, in fact, which means it's probably a good idea, especially considering you're so neurotic, to give you animal handling as your primary job, so you don't freak out all the time. Um, so hang on a second, who's handling the animals? Who's handling the alpaca? Shearing them and stuff and training training the dogs. Um, so yellow, I mean yellow's got a slight passion for it. You've got a, you're almost as good as yellow already and you've got a burning passion. So let's deprioritize, right, deprioritize yellow and we'll max prioritize you for the animal handling. Okay, so you do that. Uh, don't handle the prisoners. Flick switches when I tell you. Get bed rest when you need it. Don't be the doctor. Um, be a patient when you need medical attention and fight fires when you need to. Okay, so welcome Curti, the animal handler. Where is Curti going to sleep? That's the next question. We might need additional dorm rooms. Almost certainly, in fact. Um, right, let's build a copy then. Of this. Yep. Build some more things over here. Tables. Muffalo leather. Probably do elk leather now, couldn't we? Hang on. Do, 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 do. Elk hide. Okay. Right. So, we'll put a bedroom there and then hopefully Curti can just slot on in. And I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry about that. Ah. Right, severe illness. Okay, so Vlad, the prisoner, he'll be okay. He's patched up. Oh. Right. So yeah, for those just joining, uh, we successfully fought off the bandit attack, uh, suffering no casualties or injuries. Um, the bodies have been mostly moved over to the stockpile for burning. Um, we did turn on the mineral scanner, didn't we? So how are we doing on this? Yeah. So we need to build additional... 
ore things. So these are basically mining drills. Let's build one here. Also here. And here. Oh, a pirate merchant. Right, JF Company. So there's a trade ship in orbit. Do we have somebody who's particularly... I think it's... um, Is it little Miss Hixie who's good socially? She is. She's gone to sleep though. Sorry, can I wake you up, Hixie? Go talk to the pirate merchant. Let's see if we can sell some shit. Also, we need to keep our eyes open for some chips, some brain chips. Like pain stoppers and stuff. Okay, so we have a scyther blade. I'm going to sell one of them. So it's a type of like a retractable blade weapon. Um, right. Sell these bows. Before the trader goes, we should probably make sure that we've got all of the guns from the outside. Right, so assault rifles, sniper rifles. Nah, sell the sniper rifles. Sell both sniper rifles. Oh no, maybe we should disassemble them for their parts, actually. Yeah. Yes, we need... But Yes, that's correct. We need bionic eyes as well, don't we? Get rid of these armoured vests. No, keep the power armour, even though it's from a dead man. Power armour will be quite effective. Um, sell these sculptures. They're awful, but generate some silver. Uh, indeed, I am working on a, con on a constant flow of art daily. Yes, indeed. Um, right, so we'll buy all of, the, all of their components. They only have nine of them. At seven, sorry, seven of them anyway. Uh, we could sell Vlad if we wanted to. Nah, that's a bit harsh. Um, how do you disassemble the guns? You can you can smelt them, apparently. I didn't realise, Walud, but you can. Uh, got loads of medicine. Uh, honestly, I mean... Uh, they do have drugs. Why aren't we manufacturing drugs? I thought we were manu... Uh, hang on. Psychoid. Let's leave it at that for now. Okay. Right, what's coming in from the courtyard? We have silver and the components. Okay. Neville is sleeping in the infirmary to get over the fact that he's stoned. And he left the damn sword that I wanted for him in, in the rec room. Dining room, even. <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah, so what... The smelter over here. Smelt weapons. Uh, melee weapons, ranged weapons. Maybe I've got to... Man like... Add them specifically. Specifically. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Why are we not growing drugs? We are. So, why are we not making drugs? I guess we don't have... I guess it's not fast enough? Hmm. How are these trees going? 66% grown. Not too bad, actually. So these will grow steadily and give us a ready ready source of wood, which we can turn into chem fuel if needed. Put a floor down in the rec room. Eh? Uh, oh yeah. I did take that off, didn't I? Why did I take that off? I took the floor off for some reason. And then I smoothed it. Didn't I? Yeah, smooth limestone. I can't recall why, but it's quite pretty. And they like it. Apart from that bit. Right. Oh, uh, sorry. That's because it's at night, Bloodstream, and uh, and the uh, hydroponics sunlights are off. Jen, why are you still working? Sorry, did I order her to keep working? Thank you, Ju Ju Two. Thank you, Ju Two. Thank you. Good. We got a bunch of fine meat. So this is how it should be. So they come, they wake up in the morning, they grab their food, and they head off and get on with their day. I also need to start moving these. So, yeah, I need to move bedrooms further into B Wing. Uh, so that we can turn these into storerooms which are less vulnerable to infestation. Because this bit here is under a mountain. So there's actually... Hang on, if I show you. That's not it. Uh, this is it. Can you see this bit here? So this is an overhead rock because we actually tunneled into an existing rock uh, when we first landed on the tundra for the sake of warmth. Because there was a geothermal thing. So we just kind of huddled up against the geothermal vent. Um, took advantage of the, the rock formation dug into it but this does mean that we're at risk of infestation from giant bug things so putting bedrooms is okay but it would be better if we had things that were perhaps a bit more sacrificial such as a storeroom that consists of only bricks you can set fire to it and who gives a shit they're bricks and it's not as if they're going to burn that sort of thing so non-essential non-essential rooms there which is a bit of a shame because it's the core of the colony so you put your most important things right in the core but um, we'll have B-Wing operational soon. 
And we can put some bedrooms and stuff over here. It's fucking chilly. It's, it's minus 35 and... Jesus, it's cold. We definitely need... New, yeah, we need more heaters in here. We need to drain that so we can double wall it. Definitely. Okay. So in one... So in two days. Yeah, so it, it, take, it takes a long time. But gradually, this radius will expand and drain the water. So we'll have building room. And I might as well just repeat it. So long as I can keep them operational. Just repeat it for the whole thing. Drain away everything but that little bit. Build rooms. Rooms. Hooray. By the alpaca, what are they eating? Um... So they're eating... Oh, that's a good question. They were supposed to be eating... Right. Okay, I think, unfortunately, we're going to have to murder some alpaca. Um, yeesh. Do we have too many... We've got two males. We don't need two males. Um, okay. Let's... Who's the younger? One-year-old. Two-year-old, uh, murder the one-year, uh, murder the two-year-old, and <laughs> this alpaca is stoned. <laughs> no, it has a smoke leaf tolerance. It's been nibbling on smoke leaf. Right. Um, take out one of the females as well, the non-pregnant one. Yeah, we, we need them for a steady source of wool, but we don't need a loads of it. We just don't have the, the, the breeding... Yeah, we, we don't have the, the feeding space for all of them. Okay. That's what you can do, Curtie. That's your first job. Why are you sleeping in Mio's bed? Where's Mio sleeping? Oh, she's over there now. Yeah. Right. We need more steel. We are getting steel. We need more steel. Right, so it's 6 in the morning. It's minus 34 degrees outside. Curtie's nude. You are? Oh, yeah. Curtie needs some trousers. Do we have any trousers? I was making some trousers. Who's making trousers? Uh, 15 to 20. Vassal, I need you to ma make some trousers. Yep, wake up, Vassal. There you go. Off to make components. Eh? Uh, hang on. What's um? What's a little little Matixi's skill? S uh, Sixteen. Hang on. So let me restrict the component manufacturing to eighteen, and Vassal, who has a skill of twenty, will handle the trousers. Right? Oh, wait a minute. I see. I haven't specified what material. Ca oh, al alpaca wool. There we go. Right, go make some trousers. And uh, disassemble that one. Alright. So Vassal, my top crafter, is off to make some trousers. Which should be really nice. And then Curtie can wear some trousers. Because right now she's got her bits out. Herd migration, muffalo. Woo! Um, truth be told, the freezer is over-fucking-flowing. We don't need muffalo. Just gonna let them go. It's, yeah, they, they could rampage and the sealers inside. The sealers inside the base, because we won't be able to access B wing, which is one of the reasons that building that corridor might be a good idea. Look, we've got so much food. We like one of our bunkers has dead elks in it. For Christ's sake, we've got so much food. Indeed, hard times will come, Sinatra. But right now, I need the I need the freedom to move out in the open to build and get steel. That's more important than stockpiling more food. The freezer is literally over overflowing. Thank you, Antifas. Thank you very much, Antifas. Tame some of them. Uh, we don't need. We don't have the, the, the feeding space. We can't tame them. Uh, we we could tame them. We just can't keep them. Look. Also, well, where's where's oh oh no. Ryoma was sowing the hydroponics, which is why our hydroponics is overflowing and why the alpaca is starving, because Ryoma now has brain damage. Fuck, okay. So she's out of action. So, Porter's going to have to take over. And also, Bitter Ritter for now, when you're not building. Shit, okay, so I need to go and need to get some 
Ah, get some kibble down for the alpaca and fast. Thank you, Muggy DK. Thank you very much, Muggy. Get some kibble, 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 kibble. Get some kibble. More food, meat. Nope. Uh, kibble? Kibble. There we go. Ah, uh, she's got to go all the way over here to get potatoes. Ugh. My colony is a freezer. Yes, but that's not the that's not the point. It's not about food. Who the hell is that? Oh, just a guy exploring. It's not about storing the food. It's about the angry other half of the herd that put us to siege. Oh, yep. Yeah, one alpaca has been killed. Porter, I need you to um, sow that area. That's priority. Come on. Sow the damn thing. They need their food. No flowers. Okay, Battle's working on a pair of trousers. Isn't it easy to make a roof walk rather than shovel the walkway? Yes, but then again, putting down the pillars necessary to support the roof would provide blind spots to hide from our turrets, for this is our killing field. Perhaps I will eventually seal this off and put the turrets down here, sealing this off entirely, in which case, yes, I will roof, might as well roof the whole damn thing off. Are we still on the ice planet? Yes, we are, life. Although it's not a, not an ice planet, it's just we've landed to the North Pole. In the same way, Earth is not not, not an ice planet, but we have a North Pole covered in ice. Do, 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 do. Ugh. Okay. Do, 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 do. Is RimWorld the same as Prison Architect? Yes, it is the same game. We are running a prison here. Just a really weird prison where the prisoners can run about and shag. Like uh, Yellow and Ryoma. Although, considering Ryoma is unconscious, that's going to be kind of awkward. Please tell me you don't have the had sex deep uh, buff. Okay, he's fine. Yeah, that would have some nasty, <laughs> nasty implications if he had the uh, just had sex buff the husband with Ryoma unconscious in the bed. Right. What about Jen? Have you had sex? Congratulations on the sex. Well done. 17 hours ago. Well, 17 hours until it expires. <laughs> what happens on the rim world stays on the rim world, yeah. Shit. Ryoma's brain damage. Oh no. Can they actually have babies? I really hope not, considering this is a game where some colonies regularly regularly butcher people to make human leather and then use that leather to make clothing. If you were to be able to create baby basically this is a very harsh world. Babies, no welcome. Thank you, Sneaky Musmus. Thank you, Sneaky. Right, how long have I got? I've got another eight minutes until I've got, I've got to go, I'm afraid. Before I have work to do today. And I must be a productive person. Turn the surplus meat into pemmican. Yes, indeed. But I need vegetables to do that. And we don't... Oh, no. We, that's a lie. We're getting some. Need room to store it, though. So why are we not putting the veggie in here? We are. So Jen's taking it. Making kibble. The alpaca getting kibble? Good they are. It's good enough for now, Jen. Right, now you can make some um, fine meals. So don't make simple, make fine ones. Yep, both veggie and meat. And that gives a nice buff on eating them. Hooray! Ba, ba, ba. Major break risk, little Miss Hixie. What's wrong? Observe corpse and had to rebuff Neville. Right, Neville is now flirting. So stoned, is he still stoned? He's not stoned, but he's flirting now with the, the females of the colony. So little Miss Hixie had to rebuff Neville. Neville, pick up your damn sword and stop accessing the, go the goddamn smoke leaf. Also, uh, has Vassal finished making the trousers for Curti? Uh, must have done. Here they are. Excellent. Oh, no, wait. 
80% quality. Somebody's pinched them. Somebody swapped them out. Well, that's, yeah, better than not wearing trousers. Who's done that then? Who's got like a really nice pair of alpaca? Who <laughs> stole their trousers? Hang on. Here. It's fucking Bitteritter. Bitteritter stole masterwork alpaca wool trousers. Yeah. Bitteritter, the uh, rocket engineer. Fair enough. Neville says in the chat, stop producing drugs. Have some self-control. You bastard. Okay. Right, and also, I believe we now have some psychoid leaves. Do we? I don't know. Can't tell. Ah, finally, the hydroponic spray is getting sealed from the elements. Then we can put a heater in there and then start putting down some hydroponics troughs. And then hopefully start, well, making hydroponic crops. That concrete's filthy. Is this still counted as the home zone? Yes, it is. Okay. Let's put down some limestone tiles. Okay, that requires loads and loads of them. Okay. What else are we going to use the limestone for? How did I highlight the stockpile on the left? What do you mean? Click it. This one? Just click it. Trapper. Trappler. Is Hunt on his feet yet? No. We'll free him when he's on his feet. Okay. Vassal is still working on some trousers. Very good. Cargo pods have been detected going through re-entry over at... Oh, it's just, just some plasteel. It's over at Morningwood. Right, it's currently the 8th of autumn, so the temperature is steadily falling. It's now minus 30. It's going to be double that soon. Do I listen to music much? Yes, indeed. Uh, no, Vassal, you're almost done. Before you go to bed. Hey, good. Some good trousers. Someone can wear those. Tattered clothing. Quite a few people have tattered clothing now. So, yeah. Okay, uh, so, yeah, I mean, now now seems like a good time, I think, to, uh, to wrap this up and uh, get on with work today. So, um, yeah, sorry, I know it's a, only about an hour and a half stream uh, this morning, but I was a bit late starting. And I've got to, uh, yeah, I've, I've got much, much to do today, really. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop off. Oh, we have some visitors. Hello. Okay. Du, 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 du. When will we create our own shirts? Uh, well, we are making... Hang on. I, I'm mostly we're using... I think it's shirts and jackets. Yeah, so we're using shirts and jackets. This is because if we use parkas, they have a 20% debuff on them. So shirts are generally better. As in, they'll, well, together with the jacket and the shirt, you'll have the same thermal protection, but without the 20% the twenty Parker debuff. Um, Vassal has been in inspired. His shooting accuracy will be improved for the next three days. Considering Vassal is a sword wielder, that's not a great... That's not very useful. Okay. Oh, Jen and Bweep are fucking... Oh, you mean like merchandise instead of... Nah, I don't really give a shit about that. Right. Cool. All's good. Bitter of eating raw meat. Really? Ugh. Why? There's loads of meat... Oh. Jen! Come on, Jen. It's your it's your only job, just making food. Why are you so slow at this? Fucking hell. Come on, just make loads of food, Jen. Are you sleeping so far away from the kitchen? I feel like just adding to just make this Jen's bedroom. You live in the kitchen. <laughs> right. I guess he's got a lot of mouths to feed. But, like, spend the whole day making food. I mean, surely. 
Okay. Yeah, three major brake risks. Oh, careful, business. Don't seal, don't seal yourself in. Thank you, uh, Sard. Wait, STG. No, ST Gusto. Huh? Uh, ST Gustafer? Is that how you say it? St. Gustafer? Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, indeed. I did manage to recover it. I had to brute force it, but I managed to recover it. Um, right. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there, I think. So, thank you for watching. So, I'll be, um, yeah, I'm going to head off and get on with, um, get on with editing today. So, um, yeah. So, that was the spot of Rimworld. Just the Tundra Fall Colony, which is doing quite well, actually. We're, um, continuing to build up and up and up. And we just had, um, Curti join the colony, uh, to support Neville. So, two new joiners. And, um, yeah, all's good. All's good indeed. Right, okay. So I... Where's the dog? Hello, honey. She's just sleeping on the sofa. Hello. Right. Um, yes, so I'm going to head off and get on with the YouTube editing side of things. Uh, so on that front, I'm currently working on armor bullshittery. And uh, yeah, it's nothing, nothing, no big problems right now. I'm just... Um, just, just continuing to edit, really. Uh, I'm working on the text and the animations, um, just trying to make them look good. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna keep doing that. Um, yeah, what else is there? Hang on, check the calendar. I need to. Um, uh, I've got to do my. I've got to do some finance stuff this afternoon as well. Bugger. Okay. All right. Well, I've got stuff to do today. So um, yeah. I'm, so between now and eight o'clock. I'll be working on editing for YouTube, and um, I'll be back uh, at around eight o'clock when I get tired. And um, yeah, so I'm just gonna just gonna crack on. She, she, yeah, she's fine. You right, honey? You okay? Oh, honey, <laughs> she's fine. She, so she'll have a sleep, and then uh, in the afternoon, her uh, dog walker turns up, and then she can go for a walk with a friend of hers. There's another. No, I, d I dare not say the dog's name because she'll get excited. But she has like a best friend that she sees every day. And she they get really excited when they see each other. And then she can run around and play. And um, yeah, cool. Right, anyway, so all the best. Uh, I'll see you soon. Let me just have a look and see who's playing. So Edberg's playing. Hang on. So I'm sure Cyanide will probably be on very soon, actually. Cyanide, uh, it's around about the time that Cyanide comes on. Um, but hang on, Alistair's, Alistair's playing a spot of Rimworld. Wait a minute. Yeah, so Al Alistair is playing RimWorld. Well, why would it be best friend if people with bad internet? Yeah, okay, I'll hand you over to Alistair then, so you can continue watching RimWorld, and you can have a look at his uh, significantly uh, worse colony, I think. Just, you know, by de default there. Um, yeah, anyway, so from myself and from Lulu, have a lovely afternoon. This is Alistair. I've completely forgotten what I was doing. Some power.